Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, sorry, we're not on the uh, proper topic really of retro stuff. Um, it's just a remote control list for my uh, sound system here. Um, it's driving me nuts this. I've had this happen three times in the last few years. Um, the buttons, the silicon inside seems to be like leaking something out onto the board. And it's, you know, so I'll show you. We'll get the top, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it's going to be because I did the same thing about six months ago and lo and behold it needs doing again. And I just thought I'd float this out there that, here really just to show you what I've found and see if anybody else has come across this and whether you've got a solution because um, yeah, other than just replacing the remote, and there's nothing really wrong with the remote apart from the fact that it's, you know, it seems to be leaking something from within inside the, you know, the silicon, um, the rubber part here. Um, it's very strange whether it'll stop after a period of time. I don't know, but so yeah. In order to get inside this, you can see there's no screws. It's one of these where you've got to prise it apart. So I'm going to use an iPhone removal tool. Um, one of these things I've shown in videos before. Is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so I'm going to use one of these iPhone removal tools here to get inside it. It's just a case of you've got to prise it apart at one point in order to get the thing in there and then slide it around and you can hear it sort of it clicks like that as you go around it. Um, and hopefully we should be able to get in there relatively easy. So we're in there now, and I don't know if you can just about see this, it's, there's not very much actually on there, it's not, not as bad as usual this, um, but you can just see, can you see a bit of glossiness around here, there's just a little bit of stuff and it's like, uh, yeah, it's like you can just about see some there. Um, so because I've done this recently, it doesn't need uh, a massive amount of cleaning, but you can certainly see some around here on the buttons that have been used a bit, and the volume buttons there. So I just need to just wipe that down with some isopropyl, I think, um, clean the rubber, um, this part up as well. Um, yeah, you can, see, you can feel it, it's oily. You get a bit of like an oily coating leaking out of these uh, the, the silicon bits here, very strange. Um, but I'll clean that all up and uh, give it a try. So I've wiped the board down there, uh, it's looking really clean now, there's no shininess um, from the silicon on there. Um, gave the grey part of this a good wipe down with some isoprop and then I've just cleaned all of the contacts as well with uh, cotton bud and some isoprop. Um, and in a few places I've had to clean the cavities out because the silicon actually leaked into around the uh, carbon pads and things in there. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is, so I'll just reassemble this now and we'll give it a test. That's working perfectly now. Um, I really should replace this. You can see it's pretty worn down, you know, the prints worn off the buttons and things there. But I like to try and keep these things going as long as I can, really. Um, and to be honest, I'll end up probably replacing the, the sound system anyway um, soon. So I'd rather just try and make this last a little bit longer. But yeah, if you know what's going on there with regards to the silicon that leaks out on these remote controls, and it, it is quite common. I've just done a search online and found other people reporting a similar thing where um, they found some silicon um, on the board, um, you know. Please let me know, let, let me know your thoughts and comments and things and, you know, maybe even if you know a way to stop it from happening. Um, you know, I was thinking about maybe, uh, I don't know, you could heat it for a period of time. You don't want to get it too hot, it'll just melt. I don't know, it's almost like it sweats out. It's like something sweats out of the, the rubber. So after cleaning this up now, it's working, but only from about two meters away. The, I think there's a problem with the IR, it's not the back battery, there's a problem with the IR um, LED here. So I'm gonna swap this LED out, and that could make sense, because the leak, you know, the leaking I showed previously on the uh, pad matrix there, means that it's sending, you know, this. it was almost like emitting all the bloody time when it's leaked over the contacts, and that's why you're pressing them multiple times, you can't get it to work, and you've got to go over the whole thing, pressing all the buttons, and eventually, when you've done that enough, it would start working, but only from a distance, you know, a very short distance away from the TV. And I think this IR LED has just been hammered as a result of the, the leaking stuff, contacting the button pads, and actually transmitting pretty much all the bloody time, which would make sense, because sometimes you could just move the remote in front of the TV and it would do something, which, to me, is like, this, you know, the symptoms of stuck button and it's not the buttons are actually stuck down it's the stuff that's leaked on there that's you know sending um, a sort of a connectivity signal if you like um, to the microcontroller or whatever it is on there so um, yeah I'll get inside this now and I'm going to swap out that LED yeah so the interesting thing is can you see this, this is a brand new one with a little 3 volt battery here just powering it you can see the infrared there 
Uh, and if you use the old one, and just took off, uh, I'm not sure if I've got the polarity in the old way. You see there, just about, it's like, it's very weak, you know, compared to, let's put them both in parallel, uh, and get them right the right way around. Just that way, I think. Yeah, spot the um, obvious difference there. Yeah, they are both lit up, but and it's only actually starting to show as it's warmed up a bit. But the one on the left is the new one. You know, that's clearly um, giving off infrared. But look at the one on the right; it's very, very weak. So yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's now working perfectly, 100%. I mean, it's, it's pretty worn. I've got a spare one of these now anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was the LED. That IR LED has, um, you know, has been used so much over the years, and especially with that leaking, um, you know, the stuff leaking out there onto it, just firing this LED constantly pretty much has flattened it, which explains why this goes through battery. I had been going through batteries so quickly as well. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.